So let's continue with uh, Tinkercad. So we go to triple Tinkercad. Okay. By now you should have created your account. Okay. So I'm going to sign in. You can use Google. Okay, but for me, uh, I created it using, sign it with using uh, Facebook. Okay, so let's wait. Okay, so this is Thinkercad. Okay, so let me check. I'll go to my classes. Okay, so... For ICT 211, AMT 2P1, there are still three students enrolled. 2P23, MR 2P117, uh, 2P24. Okay, so it seems that there are still few enrolled in Tinkercad. But anyway, so we go to this part now. Actually, you can create a CAD computer aided design. Okay, but we're interested first in the circuits. So you click the circuits. Okay, so I've created uh, several circuits already. So let's click this create new circuit. Okay, so on the right side, you have this basic components. Okay, you have the resistor, the LED, the switches, and so on and so forth. Then you can go as well as all, all of the components. Okay, then you can also click Arduino at the same time. Okay, so there are several examples. Okay, so we go back to the basic. Okay, so we're gonna use this breadboard. Okay, you click, hold, and drag. Let's wait. Oh, there you go. Okay, so let's try to. zoom okay so i hope you can still remember your breadboard okay so if i'm going to highlight uh, click this part you notice that th there is a short circuit connection here no? as well as in the other side okay okay so these are the short circuits connection so if you're going to place, uh, let's say, a resistor, no? click, hold, and drag. No? So this is the wrong position of the resistor because it is in parallel with a short circuit. So therefore, uh, okay, let's try to get a... Uh, Uh, an instrument, let's say a multimeter. Okay. Now let's try to check the resistance of which. Okay, you click this resistor. Uh, you, you click, then you choose resistance. Now let's try to click, hold, and drag. Okay. Then release. Then can also do some bending okay click hold and drag okay so let's try to start simulating you notice that it is zero ohms because it's actually in parallel with the short circuit so do not do that okay so how do you connect uh oh sorry 
a resistor is actually you need to click this resistor and you need to rotate okay you need to click here this part, this part. okay slowly click again until it will rotate okay so therefore you need to place resistor in this position okay so that it won't be short circuit okay so let's try to move the ohmmeter okay let's try to connect this time click hold and drag okay now since this is already short circuit okay the entire uh, what do you call this is it row okay so you don't have to connect it and the terminal too after all they are already connected okay oh okay to show that it is connected i'm gonna connect it uh, far okay in particular in this connection after all they are connected okay so let's try to start simulation okay there you go so you have the one kilo ohm reading so therefore we connect the resistor uh, properly okay so, and we delete this one oh sorry so we go now to uh, Arduino okay so let's try to click uh, where is an Arduino that doesn't have any connection but anyway uh, you can click all then let's try there is an Arduino on the bottom oh there you go okay so after all there is this uh, new one supported uh, microcontroller which is the micro bit okay but it's a little bit expensive as compared with arduino okay so choose arduino oh no okay okay so the Arduino oh no, there's no way that you can touch it in this mini board after all it doesn't have uh, uh, pins no instead it has a female female uh, socket okay now let us say We're gonna program the Arduino to blink its internal LED, no? This part. Okay, without using first the board. Okay, so if we're going to click the code, actually it's there, no? This is the procedure, uh, this is the, the block you know, programming. Now, similar to to our blinking and running of words okay you need the uh, the delay no which is the weight okay so let's try this built-in code or block if, if it's gonna work okay so it sets the built-in lead to high then you wait for one second then you set the built in led to low then you wait for another second okay so it's already an example so this is a blinking blinking uh, built-in led so let's try to click okay so you notice that l here is now blinking okay so let's try making it faster so you try to change this to let us say 0 0.1 i don't know if you notice the, the difference Okay, start simulation. Okay, so you notice that the blinking here is a little bit faster now. 
Okay. Now how about the codes? Uh, how about the codes? So go. Uh, we click here and we click this text. Okay. So similar to similar to the the Turbo C or the standard C programming. Okay. There are uh, in in Arduino there are two functions that you can notice. No, it's the setup function and the loop function. So the setup function is intended for the hardware setup, the pre-configuration of the programmable I/O pins, and so on and so forth. Okay. Then you have here the void loop. It is where you're going to make an indefinite loop. No. So infinite loop of our program okay so since this is an example so let's analyze okay so this is the function digital write okay so digital write function allows the digital pins of the Arduino to be uh, turn off or turn off okay on and off Okay, so the first parameter is the pin number. So the Arduino has on this side, it has uh, zero, no? Pins zero to 13. Okay. So therefore, you can change uh, the values of this uh, first parameter from zero to 13. Or you can use the the default analog. No, you can use this one as the the pins as well. No, you can use a zero, a one to a five. Okay. So. Digital write functions allows you to turn off or turn off the output of the different pins. Okay? You say turn on, it means high. Okay? If it is turn off, then it is low. Okay? So the idea here is turn it on, then you wait for, in this case, it's 100 milliseconds. Okay, so let's try this uh, 1000 milliseconds. So that will become one second. Okay, so we did this part. Then for the comment, it means 1000 milliseconds or one second. Okay, let's try to write for one second. Okay, here the same for one second okay so th these are just comment okay so the same principle in blinking uh, a character or words in our previous discussion you need to first uh, lit or light the lid by showing high then delay for one second then you're gonna turn off the lead, no, the built-in lead, low, for another one second, and it keeps on looping forever. Okay. By the way, the lead is also connected to 13, no? the D13. So it means digital. Okay. For the A, it means analog. Okay. So let's try to. Uh, Start simulating. Okay, so there you go. So it is now blinking. Okay, so if you're having a, a problems in analyzing the the codes, you may try as a starter using blocks. 
okay? But then again, we'll be using codes, okay? Since uh, you're already uh, completed the standard C programming. No? Stop simulation. So this time, we're gonna apply an external LED to digital pin 13. Okay, so uh, we need to get uh, a LED. Where is the LED? LED, where are you? There you go. So I'm going to choose this LED. Okay. So if you're going to attach the LED, of course, the same principle, do not connect it in short circuit. Connect it in the in this manner. Okay. Uh, let us, ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So let's say I'm going to move this one. Okay, so we're going to try uh, connecting the LED without the resistor. Okay. So take note that this is the anode. Okay, so if that's the anode, then perhaps, perhaps we need, uh, anyway, let's try to rotate this one. Okay, uh, let's continue rotating. Okay, so take note the anode is positive, the cathode is negative. So I'm gonna connect it here. Okay, so the anode is connected to digital pin 13. Okay, so click, hold, and drag. Then connect it to here. Okay, take note they are short circuit. Okay, they are already connected rather. Then the ground, where is the ground? The ground is here. Okay, so for color coding purposes, no, we're gonna make this as red for positive. Oh, sorry. And this time, the other wire, okay, must be the ground. Okay, connect it to ground, G and D. Okay, so we're gonna use a uh, block for the negative. Okay, so let's try to start the simulation. Okay, so there's a warning, of course. Now you are going to. Uh, can I click this warning? Okay, actually, if it's not blinking, it will uh, display that you're exceeding the current. Okay, so in in reality, no, you can actually you can do this. No. Of course, if you're going to limit the current, then you need to insert a resistor. Okay, so let's try to limit the current. Okay, so we're going to insert the resistor. So let's say we're going to make a series connection. Okay, so where is my resistor? Okay, uh, a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to rotate the resistor. Okay, let's say by default, we're going to use 1 kilo ohm. Okay, so, ah, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so, we have already connected the resistor and the LED in series. So, always remember your series and parallel. Okay, so we're gonna bend this a little bit. Oh, double clicking. Okay, okay, so that at least it's decent that you can connect them. Okay, so let's try to start the simulation. Okay, so you notice that the LED is 
a uh, little bit dim. Okay. Okay, you can also decrease the resistor, let's say, for some, they are using 470 ohms. Okay, so you notice that the color codes are also uh, correct. Okay. Now, how about if you have two LEDs? No? So, you need an amplifier, two or more LEDs. No? So, in this case, I'll be using a transistor, okay? An NPN transistor. So, where is my transistor? Uh, if you cannot search for transistor, you can simply type. Oh, there you go. So, I'm going to choose uh, NPN. Okay. Uh, so the base now, uh, let's start with the part. So this is the collector. Ah, okay, so let's try to rotate. I ah, know, uh, collector. yeah yeah you can do this okay so therefore i need to move my resistor ah, sorry okay. and do some connection in the Okay, so since this is the current, the positive supply, so we're gonna color it red. Then we connect the block. So what is it? Okay. okay, that is for the emitter. The emitter is grounded because we'll be using the switching transistor mode. It's not the typical amplifi amplifier mode. It's more of a switching transistor. So therefore, I'm going to ground the emitter. Okay. We're gonna change the connection of the our LEDs. We're gonna rotate this one because if you can still remember, uh, it should be a series with the collector. Okay, so uh, let us say there. Then let's duplicate. Control C and Control B. Okay, so series. Uh, take note, this is the anode. Okay, cathode. Another, another Control B. Okay, so connect it in series. Okay, so this is another way of using the breadboard. Okay, without wire, connect it in series. Okay, then this time we need to connect. Okay, we need to connect it. Uh, okay, so you can bend the connection or you can connect it directly, or you can connect it to the Okay, can connect it directly to the emitter. Okay. 
So, we're gonna color this as uh, red as well. Now, we're gonna put uh, additional source, okay, an external source. Uh, do, you, do we have a power supply? Say power supply. We have here an external power supply. Okay. And we'll be, uh, say, using, uh, say, six volts. Okay. Okay, so let's try six volts. Okay, so it's now going to connect this one. In here, ah, oh, sorry. Okay. okay, so this is for the positive, and uh, we're gonna color this specific six bolts as red. Okay. Then, of course, the negative must be connected to the negative as well. Oh, it should have been red. Uh, the color is, sorry, it should have been red. Okay, then this negative, the black one, should be connected here in the... Oh, you could barely see the negative. But anyway, I'm going to connect it... Uh, Okay, so we're gonna extend. We're gonna move a little bit the Okay, so let's utilize the this bread bird and the you notice there's negative and positive. Okay. So let's add some wire and connect it in the negative and the ground ladder. The ground is the our negative reference, so it should be black. Okay, so that I could add a wire here, a block. Okay. There you go. Then it should be black. Okay, so let's try if the the four LEDs will turn on in using six volts. We're gonna increase it if it won't work. Okay, let's turn on. Ah no, let's start simulating. Okay, so turn on. Okay. Okay, so you notice that it's actually blinking. Okay, but it's so dim. It's, a little, it's a little, not quite uh, strong. So let's try to increase the voltage. Oops. Sorry. Oh. Anyway. That's good. No? 11 milliamps, 10 to 11 milliamps is a good uh, one. switching or amplifying for the LEDs. Okay, so your assignment will be uh, creating uh, one, several uh, connections on the, the digital pins, particularly digital D0 to D13, and create a uh, uh, lights, no series lights, and parallel lights, no, or series lights. Most of the time, series lights, and creating somewhat a Christmas tree or a star, okay, with a Christmas theme, okay. So that the theme should be Christmas. Take note of the you need to review the use of transistor, okay. But anyway, we're, I'm, I'm gonna simulate it using 
uh, false stud to make it a little bit simpler, okay, without using a breadboard. Okay, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.